Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a lot of tasks and a lot of clues, so let's just get straight into it. There we go. Oh, another beginner clue, just in case I need it. So that's 40 points for that. Four tasks? Well, that's the easy combat achievements done as well, so that's 200. Yeah, so 240 done. All right, I'm doing some beginner clues. It's going to get me a load of collection log points, and if I complete the beginner one, that's 200. So that's such an easy one to get when I've got 600, and they're so quick to do and i'm just dropping any that require any effort like the charlie one so uh yeah i'm just gonna open 30 here and let's see what we get all right we've got another guffix kit i've had like eight of those i'm pretty sure Parrot. nothing oh sarah diamond ornament kit let's go nothing nothing that another guffix Ooh, that might be new. Mole sippers. Beginner eleven out of sixteen. I still don't. I don't even have the bottoms. But look how many fucking guffix. Nothing. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, hold up. Demon feet. Let's go. Is that a new one. Sandwich lady hat. Oh, don't even my I've got so many scuffed setups. Oh, what's that? 35 unique items from beginner clues. Don't mind if I do. Oh, finally, I get an upgrade. What, tier 7? Not even close. Yeah, finally. Oh, there we go. Wait, isn't that a challenge to equip? I trimmed. There we go. Forty points. All right, eight more. Demon. Oh, frog slippers. Don't mind an extra pair of those. Oh, there we go. Monk row bottom. I think I'm so close. Yeah. That Mercedes bottom. Oh, what double? <laughs> It's literally the black pickaxe. Oh, that's a two. It's so close to two hundred points. All right, we'll open the easy clues though. Oh, one easy clue scroll, ten points. Easy game. Oh, oh, oh my God, that's four uniques. That is not bad at all. I mean, the advantage is next leagues. If if it counts like that, where I can just claim it and get two hundred points, that is a huge one. <laughs> just bang 200 points if i get the boss in pet as well 400 does points. it actually work like that you just get the points for flipping um, it out no idea <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i know i know what you mean so i had a bunch of like other clues other than the beginner ones so i did as many easies as i could do and i did a couple of cards and one elite so we're just going to open these see if we can get like the black pickaxe or anything like that but currently yeah the black pickaxe will get me 200 points and any more collection slogs slogs any more collection slots are obviously always good because that's going to be more points as well so yeah let's just see what i get no black pickaxe no black pickaxe no black pickaxe i mean these are just the beginners to be fair this is basically how the first beginners went. <laughs> wow, that is that is actually tragic. There we go. That's something at least. All right, easies. This should get me a bunch of collection log slots. Nice. Oh, that's like free, I think. Oh, holy! That's four. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. I'm. Oh wow, 80 points, nice. Oh, let's go. Golden Chef hat, sick. Oh, uh oh, what that? All the clay. Band of strobe legs, that would have been useful. Yeah, baby. Beautiful, that's the rainbow. Hard clues. Okay, still some pretty good shit. Oh. Armadale Chaps is quite an upgrade. Ooh. Oh, Rune Defender. Why is it Rune Defender? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, that's really good, actually. Okay, I need to enable it anyway, so... 
Purple sweets. I <laughs> mean. No, but that's 40 points for opening the elite, so let's just bonk. We are still five, over 5,000 points away from tier 7, and that that's where it like merely is going to really become strong, where I can start to be using Ruinous Powers with pretty much infinite prayer and healing constantly, because that way the extra damage I take off style from the protection prayers at things like Bandos from the minions and his range attack is just not going to be an issue. The plan is to just try and get some points towards that. So I think completing more clues definitely going to be there. I think I've got to get some of these stats up. I'm going to wait for any big grinds until I am tier 7 because then the XP multiply increases. Like I do want to get my prayer to 99 or at least 92 so I have access to everything. But it just makes sense to do it when I get more points from pest control and increased XP because it just increases exponentially but yeah so the plan is to just try and get some general stats up because getting base level and everything is going to be really good and maybe i can get some more clues from afk and fishing or something uh, i think i'm going to rush like one last kill here and then i might go to zami try and get the challenge or something for killing him but yeah i'm just going to get a quick one see if i can get one maybe drop hopefully all right so i didn't get anything so yeah what i'm gonna do is go and get my kill count for zami because i haven't actually got the kill count for any of the other god wars bosses yet but yeah i think the zamorakin spear is also an upgrade compared to what i'm using plus um i'm pretty sure stab is meant to be quite good in chambers so i'm hoping it's gonna <laughs> drop something i mean staff of the dead is my best staff i think unless i get the trident from theater of blood yeah otherwise it's looking like a real struggle in terms of mage i could also maybe get an armadillo crossbow that will be quite a big upgrade because my range gear is lacking quite heavily as well <laughs> there's no way that's actually i i tried to grind out early for the beads and i didn't get the red one for ages so i just stopped I mean, I, I definitely killed more than 25, but um, yeah, I didn't get it for ages, so I just stopped going for it. I think I did a lot of it on mobile, which might be why actually the kill count's not there. But yeah, I can finally complete Imp Catcher. I might be wrong, but that felt easier to kill than Bandos did. And that's a 380 points, don't mind if I do. And the piece of the key that I need. I forgot that I need 70 agility to access Saradomin, so uh, I am going to not bother with that because agility is still slow in comparison to every other skill. So I'm just going to come back here and see if I can get some upgrades because I'm not going to be able to get 70 agility and go and get kills there before tonight. If you all step away, because it does like a, an attack, um, which you need to kind of bear in mind um <laughs> like that yeah <laughs> like, like this yeah this yeah that's bro. that's the attack that you need to avoid at all costs but <laughs> uh, thanks for giving us an example <laughs> for the raid yesterday did not go that well to be honest uh i didn't have the farming level to actually pick the herbs so i went into Ulm with literally zero food so I definitely need to focus on getting my farming up, probably my herbal up, and just generally getting better gear because I was pretty much the weakest one there by a mile. And I'm hopefully going to go to Thai Farm to be able to work on that and get this up quickly. Okay, so today I've mostly been AFK Magic, got 95, and I decided to go somewhere different so I could get better clues since I've got everything from the beginner log except the black pickaxe, which is actually easier to get from the easy clue scrolls. So I'm just not, I'm just going to do easy clue scrolls and above now unless I I go for the 600 beginner um task but yeah got to 95 hopefully can get 99 in the next day or so but I, I did a few of the mediums and one hard so let's just see what we get Wow, I even got an extra casket, hard casket, so let's see what we get. Ooh, Ancient D hide boots is an ancient plate leg's gonna be useful for next. That's put me over the 10,000 point marks. So that honestly, clues is definitely gonna be a great way for me to keep getting points. And yesterday, I managed to get my Hasidious favor up. 
so I could go to Thai farm. So I finally have the farming level so I can actually do chambers properly and actually get all the herbs I need so I can actually survive on. But yeah, we're continuing the AFKing magic. I mean, I did some clues yesterday, which gave me a bunch of points really quickly. So I'm AFKing again. Uh, it's like the abyss thing, which you need a fairy ring to access because uh, these drop medium clues and because they're aggressive, they're aggressive because my combat level. So I can just AFK these whilst getting mage up. So it's like doubly efficient. So overall, it just works really well because if I get 99, that's 200 points. Then I can get a bunch of points from getting medium clues done because my collection log has only got 11 in, so I can get a ton of points from this. And plus, Ranger Boots are my best in slot boots until I can upgrade them at Cerberus, so I definitely want to unlock them. But yeah, we we've got to start completing more clues because I haven't got anything from Elite or Masters. The thing I need from Easy Clues, though, the Black Pickaxe, because that would complete the beginner log as well, which again is another 200 points. So overall, I think Clues is going to be my best way to get more points. Okay, so we just got 99 magic. Don't know why I'm still casting, but may as well see if I get another clue scroll. I've got a bunch of medium clues stacked up, so that should hopefully get me some uh, more challenges done. 30 clues should really get a good amount of the log collection log done. I've got 30 out of 115, so there's 85 more slots I can fill here. So that's a huge amount of collection log. So yeah, we've got a bunch of tasks to try and do. Clues being one of them, but I want to focus on some of the other tasks I have planned first. And then the clues would sort of be after I've not got any plans. So I can just focus on those while I'm thinking of what else I can do. But I really want to start working towards tier 7 because I kind of was, I was really doing well with getting points. And then I just sort of stopped from where I'm, I think going merely has definitely slowed me down overall because it definitely feels like I'm having to put more work into being geared and everything for raids. So yeah, let's hope that um, I can get some points towards tier seven. Maybe going tier seven and eight would help. Okay, so we're getting some challenges done while I'm editing. And first of all, we're gonna do a lap of Fador Agility course. That's an easy 40 points. Okay, so I'm actually working on three challenges here. I'm gonna go into the woodcutting guild, which should be 40 points. And then I'm gonna catch 100 lobsters which is also 40 points and then for another 40 points is to cook 100 lobsters so this should be very quick 120 points here so that should be yep 40 okay so i just got the 100 lobsters done so that's another 40 points although that was done quicker because you get the extras put into your bank so i probably need like another inventory but i'm also getting some clues so that's always nice because that's going to help me with the collection log slots okay there we go caught 100 lobsters as well another 40 points let's go to the next task probably one of the easiest 40 point tasks in the game is literally just activate and smite 40 points I also have two equipped tasks that I didn't realize I had. One is literally just a magic short bow. One of the obsidian items that I cannot remember what it's called. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it. I know it was the Obby Mall, but 80 points for the magic short bow. Yeah, 80 points for that as well. And I'm not sure if I've equipped this one as well. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a challenge for that, but yeah, easy 160 there. Thanks for watching everyone. This took a while to get out because I had a lot of real life stuff to do. So I'm a bit behind on episodes. So I'm going to try and catch up with those as best I can. But obviously life gets in the way of stuff. You know how it is. But if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to keep doing episodes throughout leagues. But thank you for watching everyone. And I'll see all of you in the next one.